of times we hear about this phenomenon of like once somebody starts doing better than they had previously done then people around them will try to drag them down this whole concept around crabs in a bucket so if that's common knowledge it's something we hear about a lot and for folks who are seeking to reinvent themselves improve their lives activate their dna and basically shift life and the world as they have previously known it the whole crabs in a bucket mentality is totally going to be something that you are probably already encountering right now truth be told so let's talk about the energetics behind it though like the way that we have been trained to be in this false matrix is to be attached to each other through these cords of attachment and the way they show up on the energetic plane is straight lined energy flow so the best way i can describe this is the spider's web so if we think about this false matrix, it is held up by this weird false web work, this like electrical web of where people are tethered to one another through cords of attachment. And if you try to like detach from your place, like from your assigned place, then it kind of like sets off uh, different sensors, energetic sensors. And that's when that whole crabs in the bucket thing kind of uh, happens because it's like when you shift your positionality uh, that means that other people's positionality needs to shift as well okay so there's this whole energy harvesting campaign where uh, you might even just be a part of an energetic structure within your family or within your workplace or within your friend groups where maybe you're serving as an energetic bridge for somebody right maybe you are uh, taking on the karma, the disease, the uh, projections of other people in your friend group. And if you try to detach from that, energetically, people can feel that that's happening and they want to latch on, you know, especially if the beings around you aren't invested in navigating life outside of the false matrix. And most people will not be. So this is just something you need to accept. And, you know, we're not here to try to change people's minds. We're not here to try to, like, get people on our team or on our side. Like, folks who are awakening, they know that something different is meant for them. And, and that's that. You know, that's what we focus on. We always focus on our locus of control, which is us and how we can transform our world and our reality. And interestingly enough, by keeping that locus control of control in our hearts, then other people will start to shift uh, because the vibration that we're holding will start to shift and many times beings will need to meet us at our vibration or they'll just kind of exit stage left you know one of those two scenarios will happen a lot of times so all that being said though if you are enmeshed in the false web work of the false matrix you are in you're entrapped you are like spider food if you think about the way a spider casts their web right um they create their system they create their whole ecosystem and they get their food they get uh beings around them to basically get ensnared in their web your spider food in the false matrix right and that's where that whole crabs in the bucket mentality thing comes from i hope that folks are following me with this I know someone is, but I just wanted to do a spot check, okay? Um, this is the false web work that you're caught in, and it's through cords of attachment, and it's through electrical programming, okay? So in order to get out of that system of the crabs in the bucket mentality, it does require you to remove yourself. This is why you feel a lot better when you stop talking to certain people. Sometimes you switch your number up. Sometimes you move locations. You make these drastic uh, changes to support you with getting yourself out of the uh, out of the ensnarement of the false web work of the false matrix okay and uh, that's why sometimes it's good as you reclaim your energy to be non-contact with folks so that you can know who you are outside of the programming and the conditioning that the false matrix indoctrinated you in 
So that's step one. But also there is an energetic reclamation that must happen too. Uh, removing yourself from certain toxic situations is the first part, but then there's a huge deprogramming process that you do, and usually you do it solo, okay? Usually it's not really able to happen in a group because of the way groups have been structured within the false matrix. And it's been structured based upon energy harvesting. It's been structured based upon hierarchies. So humanity has not learned or known unity consciousness for a really long time. So the first way for us to embody unity consciousness is to embrace our own individual sovereignty, okay? Then we're able to navigate groups once more and to do so from a state of unity consciousness. So I wanna give you another example of the spider's web, which is more empowering. And this is this idea that you cast your own web, okay? The spider, is a really interesting creature because it's completely self-sourcing, okay? It casts its home and its way of, of food uh, through its own source and then just kind of like lays the foundation and then posts up, okay? And then magnetizes what it needs to thrive. That's how a spider does things, okay? And a lot of what we're doing after we disentangle ourselves from the false web work of the false matrix is we're creating our own ecosystems so that we can thrive, all right? There's this misconception that in order to be on a spiritual path, you have to be in lack, you have to experience trauma, and that's a lot of the old ways that things have worked, okay? But it's the folks who are self-sourcing who are able to magnetize the circumstances that are the best for them in the new earth consciousness that we're moving into that will thrive, okay? That means unlearning codependency and weaving your own dream outside of the dream that was assigned to you in the false matrix. And in order to do this, it takes a lot of introspection and then weaving your own dream so that you can thrive. Okay? And a lot of that's going to be found in a more magnetic energy flow. The energy flow that you will create will be outside of like the rigid angles and the lines. And it'll be of a more rotational energy flow. Or a beehive energy flow where you'll be able to be in groups and be able to be in communities. And people's energy are not just like latching onto you through cords of attachment and you're able to be sovereign in your energetic space and the people that you're around are able to be sovereign in their energetic space so that you can show up in groups and around other people from your authentic self, okay? That's not something that's been possible in the false web work of the false matrix. And so in order to learn this, we need to take that step back. We need to take that sacred pause and rebirth ourselves. And so this is why I offer the, the services that I offer both on, both on the Patreon to support folks with reimagining their energy outside of life from the false matrix. So if you're looking for specific resources on how to uh, embrace more of a magnetic energy flow, definitely check out the content over there. Or if you're interested in taking a one-on-one -on -one journey, where you are seeking to get support from somebody to help you on this road to deprogramming, it's not easy, y'all, trust. And it's a huge commitment, you know? But when you make this commitment, you say yes to yourself in so many ways. I hope to see you on the other side of social media. Sending you lots of love, joy, and peace until we meet again. Bye.